I would like to start off by saying welcome, reiterate uh, welcome to the delegation from IFRD, and more especially to um, the president, Mr. President of IFRD. We know how extremely busy you are, and um, we therefore appreciate it greatly that you're sparing your so much precious time and valuable time to visit the Africa Rice headquarters. It's not a station, as um, he was saying, it's the headquarters. I think we need to make that distinction. This is the, the remnants of the old system. <laughs> so on behalf of the Africa Rice family and in my own name, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you and unfortunately, uh, Mrs. Nwanze is not here. We would have expected her to be here, but it doesn't matter. You would pass on a uh, warm welcome to her as well, and also the delegation that you're leading. Now, this reminds me of the beautiful Nigerian saying, however far the stream flows, it never forgets its source. So welcome home. Mr. President, Akwaba, bienvenue, and to surprise you, Mr. President, going back to my roots, where my maternal grandparents came from, Asaba, <laughs> you know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, sorry, no, but you see, you have a different. <laughs> So I'm trying. I'm still looking back at, at what they were telling me. I only learned that when my mother came to visit Marcel and said, no, his, his, my, his grandparents are from Asaba. See? Yeah. So we are sure that this visit will further deepen the long-standing and dynamic partnership between Africa Rice and IFAD. We do cherish the strong financial support of IFAD as well as its technical expertise and international knowledge and experience which have enabled us to make a difference in the lives of our partners, the millions of resource poor Africans for whom rice means livelihood and food. We wish to gratefully acknowledge here the significant contributions that Africa Rice has received from IFAD over the years to carry out its important mission. Over the last 10 years, Africa Rice has received more than $4.5 million directly from IFAD and 8.3 million euros from the European Union through IFAD. This assistance has been crucial for rice research by Africa Rice and its national partners, leading to positive impact in the lives of smallholder farming communities, raising their incomes and helping them adapt to new challenges. Some of the major research products and achievements of the effort supported projects include the following, Mr. President. The scaling out of new rice for Africa Nerica varieties across Africa, which was initiated under your leadership. Nerikas are now a household name in Africa, a name that stands for good rice. More productive rice value chains in Guinea, Democratic Republic of Congo, Senegal, and Sierra Leone, with focus on good agricultural practices rice seed systems and harvest and post-harvest practices within the rice sector development hubs. A regional rice development strategy framework in collaboration with ECOWAS and RUPA, the Rice Farmers Association in Western Central Africa. Evidence-based advice on policy sequencing to tailor local rice to consumer demand, increase production, scale up processing and distribution, branding, advertising. Tools to automate surveys, 
and monitoring and evaluation by national programs, a multi-stakeholder platform process to help identify, organize, and empower value chain actors in the inland valleys, establishment of the Africa-wide rice mechanization task force to promote small locally adapted machinery such as mini combined harvester, acid thresher, mechanical weeders, rice per boilers, and gasifiers to boost rice production. An innovative farmer learning approach called participatory learning and action, and action research, which enhances farmers' communal labor spirit and reduces gender barriers. Local language farmer learning videos on rice productivity enhancing technologies which have reached over a million farmers and helped them improve their knowledge and farming practices. The videos, in fact, received the CGIR Science Award for Outstanding Communication in 2009. Mr. President, we take this opportunity to thank you on behalf of Africa Rice and its 25 member states, as well as on behalf of all our partners, particularly resource poor farmers and processors for helping Africa Rice and its partners to achieve these results from IFAD investments, which are enhancing food security and raising the incomes of actors along the value chain. Building on these achievements and project reviews, we have submitted last year in response to several advice that we received from your office. Projects, proposals worth about $8 million on capitalizing the inland valley potential, strengthening the rice value chain in East Africa in partnership with Africa Harvest, enhancing entrepreneurship in the rural community and promoting women in rice business. A fifth project proposal led by IITA titled Improving Rice Cropping Systems with Legumes to provide income and environmental benefits in Nigeria and Benin Republic has also been submitted quite recently. Mr. President, we seek the support of IFAD for these projects, which will use innovative approaches to transform poor rural communities from subsistence farming to market-oriented farming. We would like to assure you that we're conceptualizing the establishment and rolling out our projects in the form of rice value chain business models inspired by your own vision. In keeping with this approach, we have recently developed a partnership with the Office Sheriffian de Phosphate to accelerate farmers' access to good quality seeds and appropriate fertilizers, strengthen the capacity of actors of the rice value chain, organize the rice seed value chain, strengthen research facilities at Mbay, and benefit from returns in investments to sustain research activities and facilities at Africa Rice research stations all over Africa. Mr. President, this, in fact, will be a realization of your vision of WADA Inc. The other recent success stories of our scalable technologies and approaches include a crop management decision tool, which we call Rice Advice, that will allow farmers to apply mineral fertilizer more efficiently Africa rice results have shown that compared to farmers' conventional fertilizer management, recommendation by, Af by rice advice can help farmers achieve a yield increase of about 20%. For instance, from 5 tons per hectare to 6 tons per hectare. With a reduced nitrogen fertilizer application rate, leading to an increase in profitability of about 200 US dollars per hectare per year. The technology is planned to be deployed in Mali and Nigeria with the support 
of the Japanese government. We also have a relatively simple, low-cost and participatory method called the Smart Valleys Approach, which helps to improve land preparation and transplanting, reduce water runoff and loss of fertilizer. With this approach, average rice yields have doubled from 1.5 to 2 tons per hectare to 3.5 to 4 tons per hectare in Benin and Togo. Another success story is in the area of enabling youths, where a BMZ-funded project has initiated a model for strengthening the capacity of youths in servicing and maintaining youth entrepreneurship and has leveraged funding to enable youth initiatives and the establishment of a green innovation center in Cotonou. I would like to highlight one of our new innovative solutions to address development changes, challenges faced especially by women involved in the rice value chain. An improved rice per boiling system called GEM, combined with the adoption of an innovation platform approach along the rice value chain, is making a difference in the lives of more than a thousand women rice per boilers, per boilers in Glaswe and Malonville rice hubs in Benin. The technology is women friendly as it shortens the processing time, reduces drudgery, and does not expose the women per boilers to heat burns. It is planned to be deployed in Nigeria, Niger, Niger and other countries. Mr. President, I am very pleased to share this success story with you today, as there cannot be a better occasion than the International Women's Day, whose 2016 theme is Planet 5050 by 2030. Step it up for gender equality. We are extremely happy that our visit, your visit coincides with this important celebration. Before concluding, Mr. President, I would like to emphasize that Africa Rice is resuming fully its research activities in the Bay Station and has ambitious plans to develop new technologies to boost the rice sector in Cote d'Ivoire and the Manor River Union. As you know, the Bay Dam is the heart of the station. We have therefore prepared a short video on the urgent need for its video rehabilitation as it benefits not only rice research but more importantly the farming community of the surrounding villages which depend, depend on it for their livelihood. I would therefore like to thank you Mr. President for having listened to this very um, short I would call it but inspiring speech, opening speech and I will pray that you all listen to the video that we have. It's just about this. Minute.